Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Python programming tutorial. So looking at the PyEnchant module, and this is the last video that I'm going to do on this uh, module here. Uh, it's been really simple, really kind of an easy thing to go through. I hope you guys have been able to tolerate the like five videos on such a simple concept. But the last thing that I want to show off to you is uh, these two kind of small applications that PyEnchant actually offers. They're miniature tools that are kind of intended as functionality demos, but they're also kind of useful. And they take advantage of the way that uh, PyEnchant actually uses everything that it finds as, a, as an error in, in, in its spell check. Uh, its loop and its iterator, that iterator kind of allows you to do a lot when you uh, are actually spell checking like a larger piece of text. So this WX spell checker dialog uses um, Python's WX GUI or graphic user interface kind of environment. I'm not going to write this code out, but I did kind of copy and paste it so I can show you guys what it does and how it looks. So this is it really. I'm just going to run this. I installed WX so you guys can see it and see how it works. So I'll make this a little bit bigger. Um, so it takes a segment of the text that you that we give it and uh, note that this text is what we're passing to the spell checker and uh, you know that spell checker object and the dialogue is just a WX kind of GUI that sits on top of it. So it'll find all the unrecognized words and then highlight them and then you can replace them with uh, things here, or you can ignore the words, ignore every single occurrence of that word. Um, you can replace just this occurrence, or replace all occurrences of the word with anything that you specify, or you could add it to your dictionary, or you could just give up. So I want to replace this with some, because I know that's what it should be. This is some text with a FW, which would be few, and I know there's another FW later on here, so few, and then I'll replace all. Spelling, we'll replace it with spelling, and uh, test is right here that we can replace. And then it way down here, or of course we could add it to our dictionary or do anything else we want to do with it. And then we're done. So that's kind of a nifty thing, uh, just a GUI interface. And there's a command line thing that does a very, very similar uh, setup. Command line checker way down here, the module enchant.checker.commandlinechecker checker provides the class command line checker, which can be used to interactively check the spelling of some text. It uses standard input and standard output to interact with the user through obviously kind of like a command line interface and here's the code to build it. So I will write this one with you. I think we can do it in idle so it's not a problem. Uh, I'll actually create a new idle window so it's a little bit cleaner for us. But I want to be able to see the code so I'll try and be quick here. So the reason that I found the import, I'm sorry, the, the checker uh, module, I'm trying to do two things at once here, a little bit harder to do. The reason that I found this module is because I wanted to, in case I ever was going through some encryption or decryption kind of cryptography stuff, in case there's ever a moment where I do loop through something, like I'm trying to brute force something, and I actually retrieve some English text, then I know that, okay, maybe in this iteration of the loop of the brute force attack, maybe I've actually found something worthwhile, because I'm seeing actual English stuff, right? So, and I see that with a lot of cryptography. So I wanted a module that allowed me to do that. So, actually test whether or not this is an English word. And I was thinking, okay, I could probably write this on my own if I had, like, a dictionary, like, file, right? So... I would need a dictionary file, and then I'd have to loop through every single word in what I'm trying to test, and then loop through the dictionary every single time as well, and test, is this actually English? Is it in the dictionary for me? And that was, I don't know, obviously that sounds like a terrible thing, because you're looping, uh, you're loops upon loops upon loops, you know. But for some reason, I don't know, this being a lower level framework and I guess something that someone else actually built, it makes sense. <laughs> they do a good job of it and it, it's, I don't know, it works very well for us. So there's all the code to actually build the command line one and it's running right now. It found the spell error, the spelling error, misspelling SME for um, some. So if you need help, you enter help here and it'll tell you uh, these are the commands and things that you can use. Uh, zero or the number index will give you will replace it with that index in the how about suggestions 
R right in front of it will always replace, so all the other recurrences of this SME will be replaced with that. I to ignore this word, capital I to always ignore this word, A to add to the dictionary, E to edit the word, Q to quit checking, and that sort of thing. So I wonder what E does. New word it can be sum, and the text would also be uh, text, so we'd say zero, replacing text with text. Okay, now, now that I've got the checker, can I see, did it actually modify this? Can I actually see get text? Of course, that's a function that I need to call. And yeah, it does change the text within the checker. So that's pretty cool, kind of how it works. And it's just a simple command line, small, I think, utility that takes advantage of the loop and iterator paradigm that Enchant offers and allows you to play with it as a simple um, input and output command line thing. So there we go. That's uh, that's all I really wanted to show off with this series. Really, the best stuff that um, this thing offers that Enchant the module offers is the spell checker object, being able to look through a boatload of text, which is what probably we'll be doing, or just checking for individual words and finding different suggestions. So there's a lot of options with this module. I hope you guys had a good time with it and now know how to use it and know it well. You'll be able to think of this as a uh, proper tool in your toolkit and uh, good ammunition in your arsenal. So, thanks everybody. I will uh, see you in the next tutorial.